important to, for solving these questions, you need to write down the data in the netbook so that you can easily work out the options, okay? And I would suggest you in the beginning itself that whenever you're solving questions, please focus on the, focus on the you know, options, okay? So let's begin. I think you all, have, all are aware of what the Delectar is, what we are doing here at Delectar. You can take admissions for KS1 to, to A level, okay? And then this is the 11 plus solution, okay? And then this is, this is the topic for today's lesson. Quickly, guys, write it down the topic in the notebook, word problems, okay? This is one of the most and most confusing topics of verbal reasoning. Okay, these are our achievers. If you want to be the part of these achievers, you can take the admissions here, okay? And you can be the part of these achievers and you can take your name here on the list, okay? And uh, yeah, for this, for if you want to be the part of these achievers, you can take the admissions in our two different courses, like summer intensive course and one to one group online tutoring, okay? You can take these lessons and you can take the admissions as soon as possible. The seats are available, okay? All right, let's begin the lesson now. So as I said, this is the topic. For doing this topic, we have to focus on the information, okay? As you can see, wait. For solving such questions, it takes generally a long time and therefore we have, we have a lot of information given here. And just give me one sec. Okay, so there, every question will contain lots of information, okay? And these information you, you have to note down in the notebook and then read the information carefully, then you can move on to the options, okay? We are moving on to the question number one on the screen. This is the question number one on the screen. Everyone, please look at the question number one. What is, it tries to give you the useless. Yes, definitely, Makid. The question always tries to make you confused by giving a lot of information, okay? And, but you have to be careful while reading the information. Let's begin the question number one. The question number one says, Daniel is half as old as okay okay so please send me your answers I want to see the chat box please okay I've got the answer from Noor Saeed so far Daniel is half as old as Sarita okay and who's two years older than Christopher and the, to the, the present age of Christopher is 12, okay? Rohan got the two as the as answer, okay? And uh, we have options quickly to see what is your correct answer. If I say the Christopher is 10 year old, okay? According to the question, it says it is 10 year old. So the Sarita would be 12 years old, right? And the Daniel is six year old, as Daniel is half of the Sarita age. Now, very important trick here is, what's the age of Ashley, right? The Ashley's age is one year older than Sarita age, okay? And Sarita is 12 year at present. This is the present age of Sarita. So what would be the age of Sarita two years ago? So she must be 10 years old, right? She must be 10 years old. If Sarita is 10 year old two years ago, so the Ashley would be 11 years old as she as Ashley is one year older than Sarita two years ago okay and based on that Christopher is the oldest can you see that Christopher's age is 10 no option one is incorrect okay all right okay Sarita is the oldest yes the option B is correct answer Ahmed got the right Apal got the correct answer how many of you got the correct answer please show me thumbs up is it correct is it okay Perfect. Is it all right? Shall I move to the next slide? Okay. The right answer is Sarita. Okay. I'm going to move on to the question number two. And this is your responsibility to give me the correct answer. Okay. Read the information carefully. George, Abrati, and Molly were playing with the die, okay? And taking turns to try to get the highest score, George, you know, scored more than Molly, who got even number, which means whatever score George got, 
it is okay it is more than molly and molly got the even number okay she got the even number abhati scored an odd number but scored more than george so whatever score the george got he got more than abhati okay oh sorry abhati got more score than george now using the information decide which of the following statement is true tanmi very nice great perfect abdul mukid Danny, okay, Amatola, please do the question again. Arush, no, no, my dear, again, please solve the question again. Okay, no, who's this? Who's sending me the three? No, Ahmad, you need to work again for question number two. Okay, that's not correct. No, Ahmad, that's not correct. Daniel, okay, Amatola, again, do the solve, quickly solve this question again. Khadija got the right answer. Well done, Khadija, great job, darling. Hafiz got the correct answer. Now, Amatola, you got the correct answer. Perfect, guys. I think this conf this question makes you more confusing at this moment. Okay, all right. No, Arwa, that's not correct, darling. Okay. Classy got the right answer. Very good, guys. Well done. Bless you, darling, Khadija. Now you got the correct answer, Arwa. Okay. All right, okay, Amatola, it's all right. Naba got the right answer. Let's understand how the right option is two, okay? The correct answer is two. Those who got two, they're correct, okay? Let us understand how. The question says that Abhati got the five, okay? She scored five. How? Because she scored an odd number, as the question says. Abhati scored the odd number, okay? And which can be one, three, or five, but score higher than the shorts, okay? And who scored more than jo Molly, okay? So the Molly, whatever scored Molly got, George got more than Molly, and whatever score George got, the, uh, you know, the uh, Abhati got more score than the George, okay? Since Molly got two, four, or six cause, it says that Molly always get even number, okay? So she, George must have scored three, four, five, or six. For Abhati, she's, score more than George at an odd number which must be scored 5 okay this is the correct explanation for this you can read this explanation once more okay and based on that the correct answer is 2 now moving on to the next question number 3 now I, I want everyone to send me the correct answer Arwar, Mikit, Larsi and uh, Noor Saeed, Hafiz Omatola, please send me your answer quickly, guys, for this question. Ahmed, Khadija, Naja, darling, what happened? Quickly. Rohan, please send me your answer, Ahmed. Arush, Nabaratan, we, Apal. Khadija, okay, Nabar. All right, okay. All right, Ara, you got the right answer. Very good, darling. Danny, uh, okay, uh, Amatola, you got the correct answer this moment. Very good, guys. Well done. Ahmed, I think you need to work again, again on the question number three, please. Arush got the right answer. Hafiz got the right answer. Noor side need to work again. Okay, let me explain the question again for you guys, okay? The right answer is three, okay? Those who got three, they're correct. Very easy question. Whatever given in the question, just think of it, okay? Whatever is given to you. It simply says that Matthew's dad is Olivia's mom. Mom, okay, like Matthew's dad and Olivia, Olivia's mom are brother and sister, okay? So you can say Matthew and Olivia's, it's dad and Olivia's mom, they are, they both are brother and sister, okay? Dad and Matthew's dad and Olivia's mom are brother and sister, right? They're brother and sister and 
Andrew is Olivia's nephew. Andrew is Olivia's nephew. Okay, it is a nephew. So this says Hannah is Andrew's sister. Okay, they are sister. Therefore, I'm writing in the same place. Now, using this information, decide Matthew and Olivia are not cousin. Matthew and Olivia are not cousin. Okay. This is because the Matthew and dad and the Olivia's mom are brother and sister. Okay, so Olivia, is, Hannah is Olivia's niece. Niece, because you see, Andrew is also the Olivia's niece. So definitely, the Hannah would also be there. Olivia's, uh, Olivia's Matthew that is Hannah, Hannah's great aunt. Very good. Okay, so the right answer. It's not given in the option. Okay, Ara. So whatever given in the option, you need to be you know focused there only. So the option says that right. And so should be three, because Andrew and Hannah both are brother and sister. So if Andrew is the Olivia's, uh, you know, the nephew, so Hannah would be the niece. Okay, is Olivia's mom's niece. Okay, very complicated. Again, okay, okay, get it, can we now? Question number four. Interesting. Okay. We'll try to trick you with lots of information given in the question, but this question definitely is easiest question okay and I would suggest you please focus on the options okay when you're solving the questions don't get confused with lots of information given in the question okay please go guys go for the question number four Okay. Great, Tulasi. Well done. Very quick and fast response. That too is correct. Great, Arush. Well done, Keith. Great, guys. Very good. If you want me to tell your name, to speak your name, please, please quickly send me your, your answer. Yes, I said in the beginning, Keith. That question is very easy. Tan, Tan, we got the right answer. Arva got the correct answer. Okay. So I'm not gonna explain this question to you. Okay. I'm just gonna explain the right answer. That is. Question number four. The point, uh, the option four is the correct. Okay. Again, this question says that. Okay, let me tell, explain it to you how. This question says Julie did all activities. Okay, whatever activities done by the Julie, it is, it is correct. Okay. So the option four says that Julie did paint bowling. Of course, if she's doing all activities, so it includes the paint bowling as well. Okay. Now this is because we are told that Julie did all activities. Andrew did not do did do archery. Okay, Andrew and Sarah were the only ones to not to do banana boating. Okay, and Sarah did the banana boating. Must be wrong. Okay, Sarah did the bo banana boating. As the question itself says, they are not doing. Okay, Sarah and uh, where is that? Sarah is not doing any kind of banana, and along with that. Andrew also not doing any kind of banana boating. So of course one is incorrect. William did paintballing. Again, if you read the question carefully, you will understand the B is also incorrect. The right answer is four, okay? And because the Julie is the only one who's doing all activities, okay? And along with it, you can eliminate the options, which says that one, two, and three is incorrect. Understood, Naja? Perfect. Is that clear to all of you guys? Now, next question, question number five, please. Ah, okay, Noor. If you you do you want me to explain the previous question again, Noor? All right. Okay, I will. I will. Thank you, Arush. Arush needs to work on question number five again. Samir. Henry, Shelma, and Ruby are friends at the same school. There is one after school club. Each day, from Monday to Friday, the chess club is held on Monday. Okay, let me write this information. Okay. The chess club held on Monday. Samir goes to the cinema club and the book club and the chess club. So the Samir goes to the cinema club, chess club, 
and book, book club. Okay. Now, Henry goes with Samir to two after school clubs and attends the third without him on Friday. Okay, which means Honey Henry goes to the two clubs. Okay, with him and one without him on Friday. Okay, that means Henry is not going into the uh, which club? On Friday's club, right? Whatever it is, but it is where whatever the club is in the Friday, Henry is not going there. Okay, and uh, Shalma goes to the chess club and to the Thursday's music club. Okay, Shalma goes to the chess club. which held on Monday and to Thursday's music club. Okay, so Shalma also go, goes on to the music club, which is on Thursday. Okay. No, darling, that's not correct. Okay. Uh, Amachala needs to work again. No, Rama, that's not correct. Okay. Shalma goes to the chess club on Monday and the music club on Thursday. Okay. Now Ruby goes to the same club as Shalma and sees Henry at the sports club, okay? Which means Henry goes to the sports clubs on Friday, right? This is what says. And Ruby goes to the same number of clubs as Shalma goes. So Shalma goes to the chess club and music club along with the uh, Henry on the sports club, okay? Now coming on to the statement. Sam, Samir, Henry, and Ruby go to the same number of club after the school. Okay, Samir, Samir goes to the chess and club and book club. Okay, one is for cinema club, chess club, and the book club. Okay, Henry goes to this sports club, and along with it, it, it he also goes to three num three clubs. Sam uh, and then Ruby goes to the. Okay. The right answer is C, okay? Correct answer is C. Tuesday is the only day on which the book club could take place, okay? Tuesday is the only day. Very good. Because the book club takes place on Wednesday, as there is no other club on every weekday, and other club is mentioned as taking place then, okay? So the right answer is C, okay? Correct answer is C. Anybody have any problem in this? Najar? Noor, is that clear to you? So the correct answer is Tuesday is the only club, only day on which the book club cannot be takes place. You have to be fine. You have to find the cannot be true. Okay, make sure. So lastly, the question says you have to find a statement which cannot be true. So we know Samir, Henry, and Ruby goes to the three number of clubs, which is correct. Okay, when Sami doesn't go to a school, to a, an after school club on Friday, that is also correct. Okay, Sami is not going on Friday. It, it says in the statement, it says, okay, Sami go to the cinema club, book club, and chess club, but it doesn't say that he's going on the Friday. Okay, and because it says the Henry goes to the Samir with Samir, but not on Friday. Okay, which means statement B is also correct. Okay. You have to find out the wrong statement there. Understood, Tanvi? Therefore, A, A is the correct one, B is correct one. The sports club must take place on Friday. As it mentioned there, the sports club is, is, is on the Friday, in which Henry is there also going with him. Okay? So the D is also correct. Of course, for friends like Shelma, go to the fewest number of clubs. If you calculate it, you will understand that D, C is also correct. E is also correct. The C says that, I thought he does. I thought he was the true. No, no, no. That's why I will always ask you to find the read the question carefully. Okay, it says wrong statement. Now, next question, please. Question number six, please. Please read this. This says must be true. Okay, you have to find the true statement out of it. Okay, all right, all right. Most of you got the right answer. This question is easy, I think. Arush got the right answer. Very good, guys. Arva got the correct. It is so easy. All right. No, Noor, Noor. I think you need to work again. Okay, Paul, you need to work again. Okay. Uh, the water visitors at the park must be 1.4 meters tall to go on a fast slide. Anyone who wants to 
visit the water park should be 1.4 meter tall to go on a fast flight, okay? No, no, it is again not correct, okay? Let me read it. Daniel is the tallest of our four group friends. He's tall enough to go on the fast flight, okay? Which means Daniel has enough height, in a, he's enough tall, like he's definitely more than 1.5 meter or this much, okay? Chris and Ethan are the same height, okay? Raj is taller than Chris but shorter than Daniel, okay? Which means the Raj is taller than Chris but shorter than Daniel, okay? Which means Daniel is, is you know, he's taller. Raj is shorter than Daniel but Raj is taller than Chris, okay? Then Ethan is not tall as to go on a fast light, which means if Ethan cannot go on a fast light, that means the e Chris can also not go on a fast light, okay? If Ethan is not able to go on a fast light, which means the Chris cannot go on a fast light. Let's read the statement now. Only, only Daniel could go on a fast light. Okay, Raj could go on a fast light. We are still not sure because we do not know what's the exact height of Raj, okay? The Chris could not go on a fast line. Again, the Ethan is the shortest of four boys and Raj is 1.4 meter tall. So right option is C. Now why? As per the statement given, the clear information given here is if Ethan cannot, Ethan is not tall enough to go on a fast line, if Ethan and the Chris are the same height, so if whatever Ethan cannot do, the, Raj, uh, the Chris cannot cannot do the same, okay? And therefore, based on the statement, the right answer is C. Is that clear to you, Noor? Okay, is that clear to all of you, guys? Okay, now moving on to the next question number seven, please. Okay, I think this question is easy. There are a few people like Beth, Katya, William, Rohit, Jay. Okay, they are they order some milkshakes. The two are chocolate flavor. One is banana flavor. One strawberry and one vanilla. Okay, then all right, I've got the answer from most of my people, my students. Okay, all right, let's see. Beth only likes fruit flavor milkshakes, okay? One is banana, which means Beth got the banana flavor, okay? And Katya and William both choose the same flavor. Jay doesn't like the chocolate flavor. Rohit ordered the banana milkshakes. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, then it is not the banana. Beth doesn't, doesn't, didn't order the banana. He ordered the strawberry, okay? Right, because we have one strawberry and one banana, okay? So, Beth got the banana and Rohit, Rohit got the, oh sorry, Beth got the strawberry and Rohit got the banana, okay? Then, Jay doesn't like chocolate and Katya and William. So, Katya and William order the milkshake because we have two milkshake, okay? Now, we are done with the milk, chocolate, oh sorry, 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 chocolate shake. Okay, we have two chocolate shakes. So Kate and uh, the William have chocolate shakes, okay? And we are done with the banana for Rohit and Beth got the strawberry. So banana done, strawberry done, chocolate flavor done. So what is left? It is vanilla. Okay, so who likes vanilla milkshake? It's the E. Right answer is E. Correct answer is E. Now, next please. Okay, take a screenshot. I want everyone to have a screenshot for this question and do this question later on as your homework. Quickly, please. I will move on to the next slide for this question, after this question. Done? Okay, next, please. Okay, do this question please. This is the last question for this lesson. Okay.
Oh, all right, I'll move on to the previous slide. Okay, take a screenshot, please. Done with the screenshot, please. Okay, all right, Ara, once you're done, you can inform me. All right, okay. Shall I move to the next slide? Okay, next question, please. Question number nine. Imran, Ellie, and Lucia catch different trains to Birmingham. Okay, Imran leaves at arrival time. Basically, this says the arrival time and leave time. Okay, the Imran leaves at ten fifteen. Ellie's train leaves at leaves half an hour after Imran's. Okay, see. So if Ellie's trains leave half an hour after the Imran's, okay. So after half an hour, it would be 10.45, right? After 30 minutes, the, leave, the leaving time of the Imran is 10.45. Oh, sorry, Ali is 10.45, okay? And arrives at 11.45, correct? All right? And then Ali's journey takes 15 minutes longer than the Lucia, okay? So the Ali's journey takes 15 minutes longer than the Lucia's, okay? So how much the journey, how much duration does the Ellie takes? That is 45 minutes. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's 60 minutes, right? It's a 60 minute journey. And Lucia takes 15 minutes less to Elise, okay? So 15 minutes less means 45 minutes, correct? She takes 45 minutes in the entire duration. And the Lucia catches the train at 11.45, okay, she catches the train at 11.45, and if she takes 45 minutes after this, so she will be arriving the 12.30, okay, the, she'll arrive at the station at 12.30, because you have to add 45 minutes after this leaving, okay, and she'll be reaching the timing, the Lucy will reach or will arrive the Birmingham at 12.30, okay, now, Please, next question. Four families travel from the same village to the Bridgeton. Okay. The Smith family travel by car, takes two hours, 15 minutes. Sure, Greg family travel by coach, which takes 150 minutes. Okay, write down the information Smith and the Greg family. They took two hour, 15 minutes, which is equal to 60 plus 60, 120. And then 135 minutes, okay? So the Smith family took 135 minutes. Greg family took 150 minutes, right? And then MacArthur's family trained. Trains catch the train at 9.30 and arrives at 11.05, okay? Which means almost two hour, five minutes, okay? That is equals to 120 and then five, 125 minutes. The Lau family takes the three separate bus and first travel leaves at 10.15 and the whole journey takes place two hours, 20 minutes, which is equals to two hour, 120 and adds 20, which is equal to 140 minutes. Okay, if you will convert the whole time into minutes, okay, it would be equals to this. Now, the which statement is true? Okay, the coach driver faster than the bus. Who's going to the coach? The Greg. Traveling by car was quicker than the traveling by coach. Yes, the right answer is C. Okay, the correct answer is C, because the traveling by car takes only 135 minutes, and whereas you can see, uh, the the coach it takes 150 minutes. Okay, and the rest of the statement is incorrect as per the statement or the information given to you. Okay, and therefore we will not get 
All right, it's okay, darling. Okay, I'm totally no worries. You do. Okay, I'm totally no worries. You do not have to worry about it. Okay, all right. You can do the questions. Even some of the questions which you've done today, that too is correct. Okay, so don't worry about it. Now take a screenshot for the slide. Okay, homework question, please. Oh, right, okay. Yes, please. For question number nine. He's saying this. Wait. Apal, take a picture of this question number nine. Quickly. Are you done? I did. I did. Okay. Amatola, I did. Pleasure. Can you give the answer for question number eight and eleven, please? Okay, for question number eight, the right answer is C. Okay, the correct answer is C for question number eight. Okay. Now moving on to the next. For question number eleven, the correct answer is A. Okay, it's your turn, guys. You need to work out by yourself. Okay. Take a screenshot, Nur. This is the homework slide. Okay. Done? Done with the screenshot? Okay. Now, this is something very interesting, okay? Anyone who's entering into year 5 and year 6, they can take the admission for these courses, okay? 11 plus I's have are common courses in which, you know, we have through four different subjects and it's a five-day course, okay? Anyone who's interested for this five-day course for ISAB, you can go and register yourself as soon as possible. If you want to know any more queries about it, you can contact on the following numbers on the screen that is given, okay? I would recommend you guys to take a picture of this. Uh, okay, Noor, if you want to know about this, okay, I'll go. Okay, Tanwi, go for it, okay? Go look at the numbers on the screen, okay? Take a picture of this and uh, take a picture of this, okay, Hafiz, you can connect with the people, okay? You can connect with the management team. They will explain you the whole prospectus, the whole curriculum, the whole thing related to it, okay? At this moment, I'm not able to explain you the whole thing, okay? Now, you know, there is the five, four subjects, which is English. Yes, 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 you can do. Swara, yes, please. You can take the screenshot and you can connect, you can contact on the following numbers on the screen. Shall I move to the next slide? Oh, okay, Amatola, uh, actually, I just want to tell you, this is the live session, okay? So I cannot unmute anyone, okay? I did look at you. I did, I'm always looking at your messages, okay, darling? All right, uh, okay, Hafiz, you, you please connect with the management about these queries, okay? They will inform me about everything, okay? Now, take a screenshot for this slide. Okay, let me, let me help you one more. Screenshot for this one, homework question. Please, everyone. I'll, I'll provide it, okay? Just first look at the, take the screenshot. No, <laughs> it is not, okay, Amatola? Now the right answer for the question number 17 is B, okay? When you're working this question, you can look at the options, okay? Whether you're getting, you're getting the correct answer or not, okay? Now, you can connect with us using these social media platforms, okay? Please, everyone, oh, the last, I think I provided to you, okay? The right answer for the question number 17 is B, okay? Now, you can please connect with the YouTube, Telegram, and the Instagram, and the Facebook, okay, with us. And if you have more queries, you can please connect with these numbers, okay, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Whatever questions I provided you for the homework, please complete those questions. Okay, Hafiz, you please, uh, Hafiz, where, okay. You have a lot of queries, I think, Hafiz, okay. With Telegram, you can use these channels, okay, for the lecture. These are the channels for this. 
Okay, bye, Ines. Anyone have any questions? Anyone have it? Did you guys enjoy the session? Bye, love you. Thank you, darling. And we are okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Omatola, for loving this session. Thank you so much, Omatola, for loving me. And yes, love this session. Thank you, Eunice. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Hafiz, I'll talk to the management. They will send you the login or and related things. Okay, I love you. This session, I love you and the session. Thank you, Tanvi. Thanks a lot. I'll see you definitely, guys, in the sessions. Okay, please, those who wants to connect and those who wants to take the admissions for the courses, okay, for intensive course for whatever courses you want to go, okay, you please connect and enroll yourself as soon as possible. Bye, everyone. Take care. Good time. Thank you for having me. Bye, all of you.